This is very clearly a statistics question, and there's a lot of vocab involved in that. So let's kind of hunt for that vocab before we really dive in. Uh, blah, 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 dot plots, number of glue sticks brought in. Which statement best compares the standard deviations of the numbers of glue sticks brought in by each student for these two classes? So the standard deviations. Remember, standard deviation is a measurement of the spread of the data, right? How, how far away are the points from the middle? Um, there's a way to calculate this, but on the SAT, we don't need to calculate. We just need to understand it and usually do a comparison like we're asked to do here. So the best thing to do is just kind of look at the overall shape of the data. That's going to determine how these two things relate. Now, you can probably see the shape is the same, right? We have like kind of like a low for here, and then if I literally just like connect the dots, it kind of looks like this, and then here is the same shape. There's literally no difference, right? We can maybe double check to make sure, but yeah, it goes from one, one, to then three, four, five, six, and seven. So it looks good. It, it's the same shape, meaning the spread of that data, those each individual dot there is a data point. The spread is the same. The dots are, are laid out in the exact same way. So we're looking for something that says they're equal. Choice B says that. The standard deviation of the number of glue sticks brought in by each student for class A is equal to the standard deviation of the number of glue sticks brought in by each student for class B. Notice how many words they need when all that matters to us is the word equal. This is a common thing on these standard deviation questions, on statistics questions in general, so don't get intimidated by the number of words in these questions. It's almost always very simple. There's one or two words that actually matter for the question, and you can kind of hunt for those words in the choices. Um, this is not a concept that uh, you probably learned in school in much detail, maybe not yet, maybe that'll come in your senior year. Um, it's certainly not something I learned a lot, but luckily the SAT is very consistent about the way that they test this. It's almost always just like this, where it's comparative and you just need to understand the, the vague meaning behind the phrase standard deviation to understand whether or not you're gonna have the same or one be greater than the other. So it's just visual. Uh, hopefully this is something you can easily pick up and then pick up those points.